So we're going to welcome you to R&B Showcase Radio Show. We have some special guests in the studios. We pay tribute to Dennis Edwards, the former lead singer of The Temptations, doing what we call the Papa Wills of Rolling Stone and Cloud Nine era. And he's the voice of the very first Grammy Award for Motown Records. And I want to thank our very good friend Alec Braveman for the opportunity to invite us to be part of his yearly tribute to Dennis Edwards. We do this every year. And of course, it's to honor Dennis's legacy as part of the Temptations and as a contribution to American popular music. Our special guest in the studio is joining us is Kyle Mack. And Kyle, of course, is the first artist signed to 1030 International Records. And uh, his album is called Dr. Otis Williams Presents Kyle Mack. And of course, Otis Williams is the founder of that record label. And Kyle is his first artist. And Kyle is a Temptations uh enthusiast and also, i am yes and also kyle you recorded uh, some uh, song on this album in tribute to all the great lead singers of the temptation including dennis ebers and we're going to ask you in a couple minutes about uh, your thoughts on this and also joining us is kevin white who is a music historian and a, and a great friend of ours <laughs> <laughs> but uh, kevin white welcome to the show here thank you Tim. to r&b showcase thank and you, um this as we mentioned was a part of the the yearly annual uh, tribute to Dennis Edwards. And you know, when we talk about Dennis Edwards, you know, Dennis, his contribution to Motown and to the Temptations, then of course he also had this solo album, Don't Look Any Further. And I think about, you know, a lot of folks don't remember that he joined the Temptations uh, during the Cloud Nine era, but he also was part of um, many of their television appearances and, and their live shows. Um, and I think Kyle mentioned uh, about uh, he joined right, right after their Wish It Would Rain album. Yeah, well, you have uh, a live at the Copa uh, album right there a copy of that and mm -hmm. I, I believe that show was in promotion for the wish would rain so he's singing a lot mm -hmm. of the songs that were made famous by david ruffin you know he, he came right came to the group right after that mm -hmm. absolutely and uh, dennis did his thing and then of course you know we talk about the television shows that they did uh this album you know was a george kirby show the temptations also had their own television show and then not to mention the TCBs and all of those things. On Broadway. On Broadway. And then, of course, uh, this, I call this the Papa era, you know, with Superstar. Yeah. This is when I first really got into the Temptations was doing this era, you know, with Richard Street and Damon Harris and Otis and Melvin and Dennis Edwards. My first introduction to the Temptations. And I'd uh, always been, you know, always admired Dennis's vocals and the power that he brought to the group. And uh, Papa was Rolling Stone. But we just want to take a few minutes and just remember Dennis Edwards and when I think about him, especially during the Don't Look Any Further era and the uh, the solo projects that he did, uh, a lot of his music is so influential and was sampled by many of the hip hop artists, not only sampling the music and the song, but Dennis's voice was sampled. And you hear it on all of these uh, all of these recordings. He was very influential to, to the music industry. And as we all mentioned, primarily we're bringing that first Grammy to Motown Records. So I'd well, like for you two gentlemen, let's talk a little bit about this um, about what Dennis Edwards, uh, you know, what his music meant to you. Kyle, let's start with you. All right. Um, because you, you know, on your album, Dr. Otis Williams Presents Kyle Mack, uh, you're the first artist signed to Otis Williams' record label. Right. But you do a song in tribute to Dennis. Talk about that song. Well, Shaky Ground is one of, I really love um, the, the the really funky era of Temptations music. And in fact, I have been performing Shaky Ground, the song, uh, as uh, in my shows for a couple of years prior to actually getting the chance to record it. Mm -hmm. And so when Otis and his team, they were trying to figure out what kind of project do we want the Kyle Mack thing to be? And they said, well, we have, I have this personal history with the temptations that stems back to when I was a child. And how about we do some kind of like love letter to the, the temptations music. And Dennis Edwards is a huge part of, of that. I mean, he was what one of the longest, if not the longest tenured lead vocalist mm -hmm. that the Temptations ever had. Mm -hmm. And Shaky Ground to me is one of my favorite songs that he ever recorded. So we recorded a version of that. We called the EP Shaky Ground. And uh, yeah, it was it's uh, it's he was very much an influence on me and, and my music preferences. And not in many ways, a lot of the ways that I perform. So mm -hmm. huge influence on me. And not just as a long tenured member of the Temptations, bringing hits to the group. And of course, he was part of the induction to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Also part of the R&B Hall of Fame. And a right. shout out to uh, Lamont Showboat Robinson uh, for making that happen, being part of that uh, that organization. But, um, you know, Dennis uh, just brought a lot of great music to the group. We mentioned all the television appearances and, and the Grammy Awards. Uh, they won multiple Grammys. And then Papa was a Rolling Stone. Kevin White, uh, we bring you into the conversation because I know that um, 
You're a Temptations fan. I am. And a thing that always impressed me about Dennis is he's done something that I don't know if really anyone has ever done. Mm -hmm. Is he came into a group when they were at the top. Mm -hmm. Right. Replaced the lead singer. Not only kept it going, but in some ways achieved even greater successes than they had had before. That's amazing. That is truly amazing. I, I don't know of any rock artist, pop artist, anyone who's ever done that besides Dennis Edwards. Mm -hmm. If you know, tell me. <laughs> I, I don't know who that is. Well, they almost became a different group they in, in essence. You know, it was, you know, it was just a different era of music and, and a different I, sound. I think he took them places. And this is not a shot at David Ruffin because he's incredible and mm -hmm. a hero. And I got into the temptations mm -hmm. because of him. Mm -hmm. But I think Dennis took them places that I'm not sure David could have gone mm -hmm. um, just with the, the, the whole psychedelic soul mm -hmm. thing that mm -hmm. started to because of the style, there. those different exactly. styles, you know, exactly. You know, you know. All great lead singers, though. Absolutely. All the guys, you know, coming in. And, and uh, one thing I like about the Temptations that uh, they're always complimentary of the guys that were before and after them, you know, come after them. You know, just as Dennis always talked about, you know, just seeing the success of the Temptations continue, even after he's gone, you know, it's a great thing because you're once part of that thing. So to see it continue to be great is, is a good thing and a, a great thing to be part of. But um, so they had the opportunity to just talk about Dennis and, and it, what his contribution was to to music. And um, so, what do you think, Kyle? I, I would actually like to know. I know it's hard to to pick because there is just so much, especially mm -hmm. under the Dennis a catalog of Temptations music. Kevin, I can see your face. You already know where I'm going. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> if you had to pick, what is what is your your favorite Dennis Edwards? Temptations era, and and I know that's a vast catalog, but what's your favorite Dennis Edwards Temptations album? I think for me, mine is definitely uh, a song for you for all the the reasons why I mentioned before. But there is such a great representation of Dennis's uh, range and ability from being a funk master on Shaky Ground to being sensual with like a song for you and and, uh, and, and different things like that. And I, I know, uh, Kevin, I see you look a little perf uh, perplexed over there, but. Well, I kind of had two answers. Okay. Okay. I have the um, just from that era. Right. Kind of thing. And that would be um, the Temptations Do the Temptations. Oh, which is yeah. Just my favorite Temptations album. That is Kevin's favorite Temptations album of all time. Yes. Yes. Um, and it, he actually does a song on there. Uh, Put your trust in me. Where at right. the end, his his um, ad libs are just. Mm. crazy um, but I'm going to give a shout out to an album that most Temptations fans do not like but it's an example of just Dennis putting it on his back and carrying it through and that's Wings of Love right mm -hmm. if you listen to that album mm -hmm. that's a Dennis Edwards showcase inside one is the funky Dennis inside two is the slower more sensual Dennis and I think if you want to just hear a showcase of Dennis Edwards vocals that's a, actually a really good album. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. Um, I'm going to go with a song for you because a song for you, Memories. And then I like memories. everything. I like all the stuff on there. I like Firefly. I mean, that's Richard Street lead, but I like Firefly. He did with them. Mm -hmm. And, and um, that's just a great album. You know, and, I, and then uh, when I actually, the first concert I went to was this concert right here, Reunion concert with The Temptations, my first outing with The Temptations. That was your first concert? That was my first concert was wow. The Temptations. And I feel very blessed to have the opportunity to meet David and Eddie and all of the all the artists that you see on this picture and this album, to have a chance to meet them. This is a group I grew up, you know, watching to, on uh, watching on, listening to, of course, and, and watching on Soul Train, the Flip Wilson show, and then have the opportunity to meet these gentlemen. And then... If I have a copy of my, well, I'll see if I can dig one out. But I have the R&B Showcase uh, magazine. And that magazine was the opportunity to interview, you know, the Temptations uh, and Dennis Edwards. And uh, that was really a thrill, like I said, to be able to grow up, somebody grew up listening to and um, watching on television, to have a chance to interview Dennis Edwards and then on multiple occasions to follow him and his group. And uh, there is a group now that continues the legacy of Dennis Edwards called Dennis Edwards Temptations Review. And that's Chris Arnold and David C. Paul Williams Jr. is on is in the group. And also Bernard Gibson is currently in the group. And uh, they continue that that legacy uh, of the Temptations. Uh, Dennis Edwards contribution to the group. 
But also this album right here, uh, Reunion, the album, uh, I've Never Been to Me is another uh, a great song that Dennis does. I like. I just like his leads on this. Yeah, you know? Never um, never Been to Me, that's actually mm-hmm. a good example of a song mm-hmm. that in the wrong hands could have been awful. Mm-hmm. But he actually makes it yes. pretty darn good. <laughs> exactly. You know, he <laughs> you know? Did, yeah, he took the song. It sounds much different. I think there's another artist had it out. Charlene. Charlene yeah. had it out. But yeah. this version is one of my favorite versions of it. And just the way... The Temptations, uh, their treatment of it was just absolutely great. But uh, like I said, I just wanted a chance to just all get together and pay tribute to Dennis. Um, This is birthday week coming up here. So we wanted to have a chance to pay tribute to him and and all the recording artists that are being part of this great tribute. And um, I want to thank you guys for for hanging out with us and talking about Dennis and some of the great memories. Did you get a chance to see The Temptations on the road uh, with Dennis and the group? I did um, several times. Um, mm-hmm. I saw him. I guess it was right around the time of Ball of Confusion. Mm-hmm. That would have been out. Okay. Then I saw. So you going further back than me? Oh yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. What was bit. that like, man? I mean, tell us about it. Talk okay. about it. <laughs> well, the, I think I've told Kyle this story. Before, yes, yeah. But um, my my most vivid memory of that is half the group. Well, back in those days, they used to fly in different planes, and half the group showed up before the other half of the group and the show was delayed and it was one of those you know back in the day where there was an eight o'clock show and an 11 o'clock show and but um otis came out and said you know we're, we're still waiting for some of the guys to show up and when they get here we're going to do the show and they came out and they kicked it and it was they were wearing those pink suits that i think you've probably seen pictures of that era where they're wearing like pink who, who was in the group at that time um it was um eddie paul Wow, uh, David. Mm-hmm. I mean, not David. Dennis, um, Otis, and Melvin, mm-hmm. and they came out with the, you know the the four headed mic and mm-hmm. did the thing. I got to ask you, but what was it like seeing Paul Williams? Though? I mean, I never got a chance to see him, you know, in concert before. Beast. Yeah, <laughs> that's all I can say. Yes. Man was a beast. Did he do for once in my life? He did. Mm-hmm. He did, and I can remember watching mm-hmm. that. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, that was that wasn't my first show, mm-hmm. but it was probably my first real memorable mm-hmm. show. Um, then I saw many of the Papa era mm-hmm, shows, mm-hmm. and then I saw um, Damon Harris. I saw I saw Damon Richard. Um, mm-hmm. I've mm-hmm. Uh, yeah a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a lot. Mm-hmm. I'm sitting here just jealous of both of you because <laughs> my first concert, my first Temptations concert, was in 2006. Mm-hmm. Several years wow. after that, mm-hmm. and uh, but still just as memorable for me. Mm-hmm. And that was the first time I ever like my first concert was the first time I met them. Mm-hmm. And uh, as and it wasn't it was like the next show after that, Kevin, that I met you, right. and it wasn't too long after that that I met Tim. That's right. I met that's every right. single one of you guys here at a Temptations concert. <laughs> that's, that's that's amazing. But you know what, Kyle and Kevin, that is a testament, you know, of of a great how this music, not only just the Temptations music, but Motown music in general, the love of this music has brought this many eras of people together, the decades. I mean, it's so much a part of American popular music and culture. It's it's ingrained in the fabric of our culture, this music. You have a young man like Kyle that, uh, like he said, he started in the the 2000s getting into the Temptations. And this music is way before, you know, dating back to the 60s, you know, and think about all the things that these artists went through to get to this point. This is a beautiful thing. Yeah, Yeah, it is. It's uh, and to be honest with you, if it wasn't for the music of the temptations especially the music uh, recorded with Dennis Edwards i don't know what kind of person i would be i probably wouldn't even be a recording artist now i wouldn't mm-hmm. i i would my love mm-hmm. of performing mm-hmm. if it wasn't for the temptations if it wasn't for Dennis David Ollie Woodson all those people Otis it's mm-hmm. if it wasn't for those guys i don't know what i would be who i would be as a person mm-hmm. there and and it's a true testament mm-hmm. to the power of these people's talent mm-hmm it's it's an it's incredible, and I'm sure when they started out doing this, they were just singing because mm-hmm. they loved the music. Mm-hmm. They didn't realize the impact that they would have on so many people's lives worldwide. Mm-hmm. And I'm just glad they did it. Mm-hmm. They didn't realize that, but it's funny you guys all mentioned that because it, I, I want to talk about this is this is the uh, the the R&B showcase issue that has Dennis Edwards. When I got a chance to interview, you know, Mike Patillo, the bass singer, and David C. and and Chris Arnold and uh, Bernard Gibson and also Dennis uh, in this particular uh, book. But uh, I got a chance to interview the guys uh, for this magazine, the R&B Showcase magazine, and all the groups, the guys are inducted into the R&B Hall of Fame as well. And um, it was a great opportunity, but like I said, the, the legacy of this music will just definitely uh, live on. 
you know, with us and uh, it's a part of us, who we are. But you mentioned he, uh, the Temptations are the reason why you got into into uh, singing. I Kyle. did, yes. The Temptations and the Motown music is the reason why I got into radio. Because I wanted to have the chance to play all the Motown records I could mm-hmm. play. Because, you know, Motown is, is essentially my parents' era, you okay. know. I mean, I came in a little bit. I mean, I'm not saying it's not my era, too, but that's was kind of like their era. I kind of grew up in the 60s, late 60s, early 70s, right. you know. So, but I want to have an opportunity to bring this music to the next generation. And the Temptations you know? are the reason that we coerce Kevin to be on the microphone. Yes. yes. About that. yes. yes. <laughs> we still, when I said we're talking Temptations, you know, Kevin White's going to be here, you know. <laughs> yeah. But, um, but it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. And, and Kyle, I want to I'm gonna thank you, Kevin. I want to thank you guys for being part of this uh, broadcast and tribute to, to Dennis Edwards here today and just talking about Motown and all kind of great things, and uh, it's it's a beautiful thing. So you going to a Temptations concert? Oh, as soon as I can. Yeah, um, next one that's coming through, I'll yeah, be there. I know that's right. You know, do that whole mm-hmm. East Coast run. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. And Kyle, you got to work tonight, so we don't want to hold you up there, buddy. Right? No, I, I got a I got a gig um, in Philadelphia tonight. So, do but no. A, do you get a chance to sing anything from your uh, album, Doctor Otis Williams presents Kyle Mack, Shaky Ground? You get a chance to perform any of the songs from your album in the concert? Um, I actually, I am singing Shaky Ground tonight. Oh, really? So there okay. you go. I'm going to do a little Treated Like a Lady, too. Oh, yeah, actually, yes. I'm singing Treated Like a Lady as well. I <laughs> forgot about that. You're going to sing the whole album? How about Here I Am, Kyle? Uh, d- d- no, there's probably a very, not a likely chance of that. But yes, okay. I'll be doing, uh, I'll be doing, uh, I'll be doing Shaky Ground and Treated Like a Lady tonight. And All I Need is another great one you do with Terry Weeks on that album, man. Oh, I, I appreciate that very much. That, that, that was a, a very milestone moment for me. I, mm-hmm. I loved recording that song with Terry. What was it like recording with The Temptations, having them on your album? It was, if you could have told my 14-year-old self that I was going to be doing that, I would have called, he would have called you a liar. Mm-hmm. It, was, it, was really, it was really a dream come true, a dream realized um, that I never really thought was going to happen. And, and... I'm very thankful for the opportunity to have to have done something like that. It really showcased uh, to me what it's like to watch veteran pros do something like to put it in perspective, my lead vocal. It was really the first time I ever spent. It was the first time I ever spent in a professional recording environment. And to have that be. With the temptations, watching you do it is nerve wracking. Wow. A, it took me a whole day to record my lead vocals for Tree Like Lady, and the temptations came in the next day. Mm. And watching them do their, they, they spent less than an hour doing their background. <laughs> but granted, they sing that song every day. Mm. But I was like, and then when they real, there was like a moment where there was like, a, you know, they realized there was a bit of a mistake, and they went back in there and cut it in two seconds and made it perfect. It was, it was like even when they mess up, they're great. Mm. It, it was it was amazing just to watch these guys do what they do. A, a huge learning experience mm-hmm. and uh, something that will be on my resume for the rest of my life. And something that I really, really, um, really, really appreciated. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was it was amazing. It was it was uh, it was also kind of. Uh, scary to record to re-record some of these very historic songs especially with the group singing background for you it's mm-hmm. it's you know it's 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 peaks and valleys of emotions but mm-hmm. all together uh, a really really great time mm. well you're a pro you're in there with pros and then bringing that bringing that sound to the next generation that's one of the greatest things we can get out of this collaboration that you did with with the temptations on that that album man so i'm i wish you much uh, continued success with your music career and uh, I want to thank you again for being part of the R&B Showcase and uh, call also Mr. Kevin White. I want to thank you. You're always welcome to be part of our show here today. Anytime. The door's always open, brother. <laughs> and, uh, thank you for coming down to our studio. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> My pleasure. And My I'm, pleasure. I'm Tim Marshall uh, for R&B Showcase Radio Show. And thank you for joining us here today.
But it was just my imagination Well, ran away with me All right, you got a song to perform, of course, today? Oh, yeah, we're going to do Tree Like a Lady. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Otis Williams presents Kyle Mack. Tree Like a Lady. Showcase Live, we got more good music coming at you right now.
I know you're tired, baby. I'm so sorry. Please. Please. Please let me come home, baby. Oh my God, I miss you so much. Ah, the way you smell, the way you walk. Oh my God, please, please, baby. Why are you even questioning me this time?